in the in the book of Genesis when um when the animals were coming to know and everything and the most I created the sciences that govern this earth, right? All the things, how come the animals would not eat each other? That's against science. For them naturally they should want to eat each other. How come they did not? Because the Most High put a spirit on them on that time because the Most High was trying to preserve them for after the flood because the animals had to be around after the flood to reproduce. So the Most High put a spirit on them at that time where they wouldn't do that. You see what I'm saying? The Most High put a spirit on them. Was that the benediction? God damn. Okay. Uh, I made the Lord watch between me and me while we're absent one from another. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Because the Lord's side put a spirit on them at that time because the Lord's side was trying to preserve them for after the flood because the animals had to be around after the flood to reproduce. So the Lord's side put a spirit on them at that time where they wouldn't do that. You see what I'm saying? The Lord's side put a spirit on them. What the Bible say about a nigga that speak with his hands? Uh-huh. You're trying to overcompensate for something. And you got to, the right to put your mouth on the RBG Hebrew movement. Mm-mm-mm. And you out here answering questions like this, you couldn't tell that young brother induced hibernation. You couldn't tell that brother what the principle is that underlies the, brain the word chemical coma. Is called adocene. adocene. Come on, Danny boy. Hell, how about the Are fact that, that some of those animals weren't even fully formed? Did Tazariakne bite you too? Did y'all forget we are doing <laughs> stem cell <laughs> research even today? On them, huh? If we can do spirit? that, what do you the think? The same spirit that was on these Negroes that made them mutate need all from the original One West again. Ethiopian Hebrews. Just a little bitty piece. The real RBG Hebrews. I thought you knew the One West history. I guess not. An article from Popular Science. Scientists at the University of Alaska Fairbanks have successfully caused a group of Arctic ground squirrels naturally hibernating animals to wake up from and then go back into hibernation. It's the first time anyone, so-called, <laughs> anyone has ever managed to induce hibernation and it could have some pretty amazing benefits for humans as well. So that covers almost all mammals, right? Mm. Why is hibernation important? Hibernating animals can reduce their metabolism severely, which reduces the heart rate and blood flow, enabling them to consume much less oxygen and survive in environments, especially in cold winters, that a non-hibernating animal would not be able to cope with. These researchers discovered that the molecule that induces hibernation is adenosine, which is produced by all animals, including humans. One more time. Adenosine, which is produced by all animals, including humans. One more time. These researchers discovered that the molecule that induces hibernation is A-D-E-N-O-S-I-N-E. -E, which is produced by all animals, including humans. When adenosine attaches itself to receptors in the brain, it causes the animal to feel sleepy. But in hibernating animals, like the Arctic brown squirrel during hibernation season, the body produces a huge amount of ad adenosine, which triggers a much more intense form of sleep. Mm-hmm. Torpor or hibernation. From that discovery, the scientists created an artificial form of adenosine, as well as a synthetic version of caffeine, which was expected to have the opposite effect. You said the Most High just put a spirit on them, but you couldn't give them scholarship? The results were actually a little mixed. The scientists definitely did manage to induce and reverse torpor in the ground squirrels, but the success was partly dependent on the season, the time. Mm -hmm. During the middle of the hibernation season, torpor was successfully induced in every case, but only a third 
of the squirrels could be put back into hibernation during the early part of the hibernating season. The scientists are not quite sure yet how the season affects the animal's uh, susceptibility to the drug. Next up is an attempt with rats, which will give a better sense of how the drug might work on humans even. <laughs> And there are indeed some serious medical uses for induced hibernation. Uh huh. We normally call that a goddamn coma. After intense episodes like a heart attack or a stroke, many lives could be saved if highly reduced blood flow could be induced. Why else would DARPA be interested or be looking into it? Now, brother. Don't you ever in your goddamn life think that the Most High just do spooky shit like you. Like you say, the Most High is the ultimate and most extreme scientist. Way ahead of our human advancements. And if you ain't got a right answer, shut your goddamn mouth. The book of Genesis went on. Um when the animals were coming to know and everything, and the most I created the sciences that govern this earth, right? All the things. How come the animals did not eat each other? That's against science. For them, naturally, they should want to eat each other. How come they did not? I give the mic. Because the Most High put a spirit on them on that time because the Most High was trying to preserve them for after the flood because the animals had to be around after the flood to reproduce. So the Most High put a spirit on them at that time where they wouldn't do that. You see what I'm saying? The Most High put a spirit on them.